Hey, how's it going? Before we get started, I just want you guys to meet my biggest fan. Oh man, that <laughs> is probably the dumbest joke I've ever told. Oh man. But how's it going? I am back with another pickup video for you guys, which I seem to be doing a lot more of, which is either a good thing or it's a bad thing. Good thing because more content on the channel. Bad thing because I'm spending money that I probably should be saving. Oh well. So I don't really have that much to show off. Um, I have some things that I don't remember if I showed off or not, so I'm gonna show them off again. And if I did show them off already, well, you get to see them again. So let's get started. So the first thing, which I'm pretty sure I showed this off, but again, oh well, is this TV Guide board game. I think it was like 70% off. So it was not $3.99. I don't know, but tax it ended up being like $2, something like that. Even though it's only 50% off. Tax, I don't know, dude. Okay, got this. Uh, this has been sitting under my bed for a while, and it's all dusty, but Saved by the Bell, the board game, it's made in like 2010 something, it's like the perfect date, yeah, 2010, Saved by the Bell, it's cool, haven't played it yet. Then, there's one of these limited edition 23 karat gold plated Pokemon trading card things from like Burger King, the box, it's in pretty rough shape. But, which Charizard? Let's see, giant Pokeball. Press the button. Do, 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 do. Hey, that looked pretty good. <laughs> yeah, it's complete. It has a little card of authenticity. And you got Charizard. What's not to like? There was only five bucks, which was, ooh, that was loud. There was only five dollars, which is actually pretty it's only five dollars which is awesome all right so everything else uh besides the last couple items are from goodwill and it's really not that much you got tony hawk pro skater 2 except it's not tony hawk pro skater 2 it's the first tony hawk pro skater for some reason it has uh the manual for tony hawk pro skater 2 but open it up pro skater 1 pretty dope uh it's three dollars I'm okay with that, so, especially since I don't have the first Tony Hawk, which I was very surprised. Because when I did, thought I had all of them up to American Wasteland, guess I was missing the first one. But then again, I also thought I had every single Final Fantasy up to, like, all the PlayStation Final Fantasies, but I was missing nine, or eight. And then, got some VHSs, uh, got Tekken, which I thought it was sealed, not gonna lie. Because when I picked it up, I was holding it like this, and on the top it looks like it's sealed, but it's not. So, I'm actually not keeping this, I'm actually putting this in a package to send to one of my favorite YouTube channels. The dude loves Tekken, so... Hey! 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 Okay, so I love, like, young Nickel- like, Nick Jr., like, older Nick Jr. cartoons, like Lil Bear, Franklin, um... Oh, what's that one? Molly and something? Molly and the Ferocious Feast? Ferocious Feast? Ferocious Beast? I think? I don't know. Uh, like, shows like that. And I saw Little Bear. I had to get it. It's all the Halloween ones. It's all the Halloween cartoons. And there's Blue Tag sale, so it was 50% off, so I paid like 50 cents for it. Then, saw this. I was actually really surprised it was still there. Mallrats! Because Mallrex, it's hilarious. Go watch it. And then the last thing from Goodwill. Uh, it's a little beat up, it's a little dirty, but I've never seen it. And apparently it's somewhat hard to find. And that's Chud. Uh, it's a little dirty, like I said. It's actually a heavy VHS. Like, you'll. It's just heavy. I don't know, but there was, there was a rental. It has this cool, like, gray top. I don't know what they're called. But, 
paid 50 cents for it, and I normally don't like pay attention to prices of VHSs because I just don't care. But I decided to look this up on eBay, and one of them sold for like 30 bucks. So that's a pretty good deal. So I was just like doing research on it, seeing what it was about, and yeah, I came across an eBay listing, a sold eBay listing. It went for like 30 bucks. I was like, okay, well, gonna keep it. it has Daniel Stern in it? You know, the dude from Home Alone. So, hey, why not? So yeah, that's all my Goodwill pickups. Uh, the rest of the stuff was actually free stuff that was given to me. So, pretty awesome. Now, my little brother actually gave me these two. Assassin's Creed 3, because I guess he already has it or something. I don't know. Or he didn't like it, so he gave me that for free. I was like, cool. And then he already had this one, I know. Tales from the Crypt. It's still sealed. Um, he got one for Christmas, then he bought one, not realizing that he already had it. So he was like, hey, you can have it. I was like, fuck yeah. And then probably the coolest thing I've gotten this week was free Game Boy games. Now my friend Chris, he sent me a message. He was like, hey, do you sell the Game Boy? I was like, yeah, of course I saw that one. He's like, well, uh, if you don't want these games, I'm just gonna throw them away. And he sent me a picture and it was a couple, couple goodies, so some not so good games like Shrek, uh, what's it called? Shrek Fairy Tale Freak Down. It's, uh, I played two seconds of it, it's a fighter, very shitty. Uh, this one I already have, but I like it so much that I was like, alright. Uh, Yu Gi Oh! Dark Duel Stories. Label is ripped, but it's actually a really fun game. So, my save battery is actually dead, so I can just. Do a little swap because this one's just fine. We got Tony Hawk Pro Skater 2 for the Game Boy Advance. Uh, this game I've actually wanted for a pretty long time, just never bought it and haven't really come across it, which is weird because it's a pretty common game. But Super Mario Land, very fun. I love it. And what's cool about it is there's like cheats and stuff on the back, so I don't know how well you'll be able to see that. It is dirty, all the games are kind of dirty, but. They all worked, so thank you. And last but not least, Gold Version, Hala, which is the game I was replacing save battery in. That did this to my thumb. Probably can't see it, but it hurt. Like, where is it? Where is that son of a bitch? Okay, I put it away. But yeah, um, flathead screwdriver right into my thumb. Not fun, but it works, it saves, and it was pretty dirty, but cleaned it up. So, pretty dope. And that is it. Cheesy jokes, quick pickups. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely give it a thumbs up, it really helps me out. And if you feel like being awesome, definitely share this video and just spread the love of thrifting and VHSs and just goodness. I don't know. And if you haven't already, definitely hit that subscribe button. Check out one of the videos next to me. You might like it. So, thank you for watching. I'll catch you guys later. Peace!